How are you doing and how have you been? This is RimWorld, I'm Taz Astical, you are you. We're back. I'm so chuffed. We were in the abyss. You know, I was ready to say no. I found a new map, I thought restart. And something in my brain said, Taz Astical, you are. You are the champion of Rim World. You must not. Oh god, what's happening? Please don't say she's gone berserk again. Insult spray, great. Um, you are the champion. You must continue. And I continued. And we're thriving. Well, thriving is a very um, probably poor choice of words, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Kill boxes up. No, but at least one is up. Right, to be fair, Randy has gone at us very, very hard so far. Link that through with my poor play. I think that's the only kind way of actually saying it, my poor play. I've made a lot of noob mistakes. It's not noob mistakes, it's stuff that I didn't know that could happen. Because I don't like that to, like, oh, you a noob, you didn't, well, if you don't know, you don't know. You can be an expert on anything. Like, because we had a group of, like, warthogs here, and they were coming through and eating my crops and whatnot, but not, like, eating them when they were still in the ground, which I didn't know was a thing, because I've never experienced that before. So me, I'm confused as anything trying to work out why our crops are going. And then we've got to deal with getting rid of, like, ten of them. Which luckily, obviously, you wait for people to come in, and luckily someone did. Okay, so both kill boxes are now operational. Actually operational. Only one trap, which probably will get built in a minute. So that is tasty. I think we can all agree on that. Next step. Dining room, recreational room. To be fair... We could actually just build it here. If we get rid of that. Get rid of that. We could just build it here. Rather than doing all that up there. Because that takes time. Uh, Lynx, please don't say you're going berserk. No, you're just tantrum. Okay. I suppose that's okay. So, we want a table... Sort of table we want. Table there. And we'll have chair, 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 chair. Obviously, eventually we'll dig this out to make it nice and beautiful. Uh, pot, pot. And then we'll just put a standing lamp there for the time being. Recreational. We want a chess table. Can you rotate it? No, you can't. Where do we want chest table? So we have that there. There we go. Stall, stall, lovely jubbly. We've put plant pot next to it because it's basically me trying to apologise to everyone. Have a plant pot. I did you wrong? Have a plant pot. You're angry with me. Have a plant pot. Um, is that how I want it? I don't think I want it that far up. But something like that would actually be rather adequate. Now I'm going to pull that table down. Just because that is going to bother me. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that, that is fine. I'm happy with that. Like I said, we will dig this bit out later. But I'm liking the feel that our base is getting, like... I know I keep saying this and it's probably getting annoying, but I like building into the mountain, it just gives it something different. Um, Lynx is beating up the marble walls, brilliant. Pixie. And so awful bedroom, what's wrong with it? It should be a nice bedroom, shouldn't it? I don't know. We are going to have to put artwork and all that sort of stuff in it eventually. Um, you need a plant pot, you need a plant pot, and an end table. Alright, 
lovely jubbly stuff is being built rather slowly i think that's just because everyone's having breaks and stuff like that the only good thing about when they have breaks is coming out of them we actually have the cloth to build drapes which actually like oh, it's a shame we couldn't build them there but they look a bit a donk could have like a drape there a drape there that looks quite legit just to make that room look a bit better to be fair she was happy with it before so no not having drapes FCD doesn't allow it <laughs> no what we got going on round here can't see anything just some fires going on just ignoring the fact that if another lightning bolt comes down and strikes my kill box, I am going to strike Randy. Okay. Another door built. We're rocking, rocking. Two, two, two. Rock Avenue. How's your health? How's your health? Yeah, Pixie's slowing us down a little bit, but come on, go put out the fire, everyone. Lovely. It's nice that fires are actually getting put out straight away. Freezer's still working quite nicely. I always like having them having loads of meals. That's why I always queue up like 30 and whatnot, as I've said in the past. It's just because I forget a lot, so I like to have that little thing. Because the amount of times like, I just don't look at this, to be honest. It's just easy to forget. Alright, and I like the dining room near the kitchen, which is nice. Probably would have been anything that would have made it a bit more awesome, I suppose, is having like an entrance here, but it is what it is. So I suppose it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, four, six, seven. So it's a little bit further away. I don't think it's massively far away. Right. We've intercepted messages about a collection of valuable items worth blah, not too far away. Power Claw. Combat oriented hands replacement consisting of mechanite hands and hook claw on each finger. So that's quite good for like a brawler or something. Interesting. We're not going to go get it. Things that toxic stuff that fell from the sky. We did have to go and deal with it. I just wonder if we didn't have to send all three of them. Corpse. Gonna dig up a corpse. Lovely. Lovely gerbil. Can you go bury that corpse? <laughs> what corpse did you see? They should all be cleaned up. Well, there's none in your home zone, so what are you on about? Must have saw a corpse somewhere. Well, did these skeletons ever go? Is there any way to actually get rid of them? You can actually get a crematorium. I did not realise. Any granite blocks, which we'll have at some point. Not our immediate priority, that's the thing. I just wondered why there was a bit of wood, but it is because I told them. I really want to build concrete floor. I'm just super conscious that they're actually going to start running into traps. Actually, all is calm at the moment. I'm, I'm going to whisper that in case Randy hears. All is calm. All is bright. It just sounds like I've got, like, holding a cough or something. So I think it is fair to say we're doing well. 
and stuff's being hauled. Whenever we have wood in the stockpile, you know we're doing all right. <laughs> that's that's how I judge it. Right. Go cut down a load of trees. Wildlife, go kill a buck and a doe. I've got some turkeys to gobble, gobble, gobble. I'll never do that again, I apologise. <laughs> I got carried away. And then I went and spoiled it all by saying something stupid like gobble, gobble. Guys, you should know I've lost the plot by now. You should know I've gone crazy. I've played RimWorld far too much. Yay, Link's eight at a table. That's how you know we're moving up in the world. Nothing's being deconstructed, which is starting to bother me. I'll, I'm not going to lie. Not much bothers me, but when stuff isn't being... Um, an raid, everyone. An raid. So both kill boxes are up. Please don't be a thousand people. I've already seen they're in two directions. Right. You've got a bow. Right, there's three there. Where's the other group? There's two there. That is fine. Then we've got our little zone under attack. So everyone stay in the base, please. There's plenty for you to go. And because we have a little bit of wood in the stockpile, we can actually still be a building. A recreational room slash dining room is up. Which is big. Hey, there we go, party people. Oh, they're actually starting their attack. Are these guys coming in? Yeah, good, good. So we'll watch these guys first. Oh no, they're going to get to me. Uh, I know what that building was now. That was the prison, wasn't it? That was the prison. Interesting how they're coming down here. Uh, just allow their weapons, because oh, they have beer as well. We'll probably put the prison down here in future, just out of the way. You got a death wish? There we go. I have to keep uh, remember that because I've I've allowed our under attack area up here. The logic is maybe in case something can like be repaired or something but maybe that was whoa 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 roof collapsed roof collapsed hang on hang on stop everything you're doing before you kill yourself remove roof area remove roof area jeez the amount of times i've like taken a building down and forgot to take the roof down and then it's just like killed whoever's underneath it I really would rather that not happen right now. Considering how well we're doing. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Awesome. It's just little things like that. It's so easy to forget. Uh, then can we haul? We've really... You can see where the floor has been charred. Um, orders, haul... Just where I actually noticed that for a change. Right, you're cutting woods, which is awesome because we always need it. Lynx, what are you doing? I do like keeping an eye on everyone. We got a fairly good amount of meat. Not crazy. Actually, no, we got a lot of crops, which is actually perfect. So we're doing well. Yeah, that was the prison, but what we'll do... Yeah, no, I think just put... No, because we do want... Eventually, we're going to want all the guns there, aren't we? Yeah, and that prison there could actually... Um... Well, we want to get rid of that, because this is going to be our production line anyway, so... That's fine. We'll think of a place to put it. I think next time we won't have 
No, we will still do the shared bedrooms. And there was peace. What's your problem? Why are you about to break? Why do you hate your bedroom? Is it just because it's got that dirt there? Yeah, well, you get the comfort modifier. You get the spacious, spacious interior modifier. Bonded animal. Friend died. That's only for seven days. That's only for seven more days. Awful throne room. It's got sick on the floor, so I'll let you moan about that. And we've got another raid. They come in thick and fast. Um, so everyone we're under attack. Is it just them? Just them. Okay, we can deal with this. See, I like this because, look, he's still preparing. He's still building the traps. I don't have to manually tell him to do it. Which is actually quite cool. So you just have to keep an eye when they're actually coming to attack. But I do like that. So like now they're beginning their attack. Alright, there we go. I appreciate you, Pixie. So what I'm going to really... Um, so if I go zone. Expand allowed area. Um, under attack version 2 there you go so then click that one so then if we have one here and then this will be our light right so the first one under attack just because it's easier telling you to stay in and then under attack version 2 is don't worry about repair and stuff so then we go do do do. So we have this is the first one, but they can still repair the traps. And then this one is no, I don't even want you to repair the traps. Get back like that because that was good time, man. Oh, it didn't take much to actually scare them off. There is this person worth? Not really. You're just a basic character. Yeah, it didn't take a lot to scare them off. To be fair, they lost this one up here as well. Some cats joined. Great. They'll all be killed. <laughs> I hate cats. Um, and restricted animals. Home, home, home. Oh god, like ten cats. They're all dying for me. I don't mind if you could do something with them, but that ten cats are just going to eat all our food. And actually just... Uh, they would accept prisoners. Will they take my cats? I'll see if they take the cats. If they take the cats, then they can have the t cats. Because um, I'll get like a thank you. Have some more royal favour. Pixie is just ready to go on a breakdown. She really is. Um... Right. If you take the cats, you can have them as tribute. I promise. Offer gifts. Oh. Looks like they won't take the cats. So. Kill the cats. Cat meat for days. Hey, you get cat meat if you get a Chinese anyway. Oh, is that racist? Controversial. Controversial. I did actually have, there was a Chinese where I used to live and they got shut down for putting, I think the article said questionable meat, which concerns me even more. I'm not saying all Chinese people do that, that's not what I meant, I just, I think I should stop talking. Yeah, stop talking. You definitely can't get in trouble. The thing is nowadays you can even get in trouble if you don't say anything. It's not that you said something, it's that you didn't say what you had to have said. Life is difficult, guys. 
Life is difficult. Alright. We will mine that out so then like it gets a bit spacious. Um It's a shame they didn't take them cats. Not looking after ten cats that can't do anything. The sun animals can haul, you can train them to haul and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. The loyal cows. So, a dame of the Broken Dominion is making a request. She wants you to take care of three of her cows at Boldermare for 16 days. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I don't think that would be too big of a problem, to be honest. Honor, I don't want Honor because I don't want Pixie to get the next rank. Because the more royalty she gets, the, the better throne room she wants. And we're not in a position to really care about that yet. Good will is currently 12. If it gets above 75, we can call them in our ally if we get into trouble. Advanced component, we don't need that. Silver's not enough, so I think we do it for good will. Because if we can get it above... That's 75, so we want them on the second level, under attack, staying here. Oh, hello, cows. Um, yeah, because then that can be a get-out-of-jail card down the line. It's, sometimes you've got to think long-term, which is difficult. Even in real life, it's very difficult to think long-term. But the long-term, the benefits will be better. Short-term, we don't get anything from the other two. It's a case of not even accepting the quest, to be honest. Alcohol binge, Pixie. Do what you gotta do, boo. Do what you gotta do. I don't know how to cheer you up more. Soaking wet, ate without a table. Well, why did you eat without a table? Awful throne room. Another quest. Silk and another desperate refugee are approaching. They claim to have lost their home in a recent attack. He begs permission to stay at Boldermare for five days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they will work and fight for free. If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. They may also, well, they may also reward you for later helping them, but there's no way to know their true intentions. These refugees are not part of any faction. Possible reward. So we have five days to accept that. So the plan is, let's get some mining done. Uh, I'll put that was four. Let's get some mining done. Let's see if we can build two more bedrooms. If we can build two more bedrooms in that time, then yeah, fine. They can come join us. And we can try and keep them. That sounds quite nice. And if not, no worries. So, that's six by four. That's not. That's four by five. Four by five. Let's mine that out. And then mine all that out. And then we can get two bedrooms either side. Like we demolished that building and that building. We still used all that wood up like straight away. Saying about that, let's get some floors in. So wooden floor will go in there nice. Concrete will go in there nice. Concrete will go in there nice. Apparently it's already got it. Would have thought it might have burnt. Coolio the cat, we're in business. So, they are not beautiful. This is a beautiful one. You might want to do that in the throne room, make it a bit more beautiful. I think all stone flooring has the same level of beauty, I read. Which is cray-cray. Another bedroom. I am... We are going to have to, like, structure granite. And, like, start filling this in. Just so, yeah. Because that is going to be vulnerable. If we can get a couple of layers of granite, 
that won't save us and because people are always like on the internet like because granite has the biggest hit points but they're like yeah but if sackers are going to go through it they're going to go through it no matter what it is yeah but it gives you time and sometimes that's all you need because extra time can be the difference between allies coming in the difference between you know a group of people have come to visit you that you know sadly get in their way and start killing each other and stuff like that that can get you out of jail Obviously, that doesn't always happen, but it is a possibility. All our graves are nearly already light. We are going to have to build an incinerator. Like meals are being cooked, that's what we like to see. Everything else is pretty much getting done. It's just mining that would be nice if that got done. Would like to move the stockpile at some point. Don't really know where though, but then we can get more crops in the middle. Oh, a hill roots come out. That's the nice. Get a lot of herbal medicine out of that. How much herbal medicine have we got? We've got quite a lot. I might actually like stop. I think that's quite a lot. That's a hundred herbal medicine. I might actually delete that zone. even like cloth but to be fair once we start making clothes and whatnot cloth will go down quite a bit but could we pause for the cause for a while debatable let's say no to sewing let's pause for the cause for a while right there we go alan coming in clutch might as well build these granite walls before because otherwise I'm going to keep saying it. And then we're just going to miss the opportunity to do it. So I'm going to do that now. So then that gives us a small level of protection. Because it still will take them a long way. A long time to come in. Coming down here maybe. Again I would be surprised. But let's shore it up. Let's strengthen the weaknesses as we see them. We will build one more layer at some point, but not now. Not now. And everyone's asleep. Yeah, because the cows will be easy to look after. The fridge has gone down. Uh, Pixie, can you get the fridge back up? Lynx, can you get the fridge back up? don't like the freezer going down. That's the only thing that will sort of catch us out. But that is the problem of having wood generators. So, we need the fourth person to be really good at research, to just sit on it. But, I suppose we're not really in a position to um, be picky. I'm tempted to delete this and then just move it down a bit. Uh, Alan's gone on a daze, that's absolutely fine. I think we probably won't get them two bedrooms up by the time that quest comes to an end, but that's fine. To be fair, might have a better chance if he's not mining that. Um, and then we'll tell him to deconstruct that. Build a few more graves. There we go. Um, build like statues and stuff like that. That's quite cool. Okay, you're building that bigger, which is fine because then they'll get like a bonus modifier for impressive dining room and recreational room and that sort of stuff. Which is nice, nice, nice. All right, can someone start killing our cats? <laughs> like, I don't want them. All right, cats will start to die now. All right, 
We're looking good. We're looking good. I'm like, I'm. The problem is, I'm getting out. I'm trying to get out of the mode of being flustered from last episode because we were sort of under the cosh, under the attack. We are doing lovely. If you've got to this point in the video, leave a sub, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time on the best RimWorld colony your eyes have ever seen. I love you all more than a friend. Bye.